when I was eight years old, a couple of ten-year-olds used to bully me on the school bus. One day I started crying to my dad, saying I didn't want to get on the bus. I told him why. He sat, drinking whiskey and playing chess at 9 a.m. Didn't even look at me cry. He replied, your lunchbox is sharp, son. Go to school. I was too afraid not to listen to my father, so I obeyed. He didn't give me sympathy. He didn't seem to care. Didn't show remorse. Didn't ask the kids' names. Nothing. It was here I realized no one was going to save me. It was up to me. That afternoon on the ride home, I started as usual, they started as usual, pulling my backpack from behind, calling me names. I sat there and didn't say anything, hoping they'd stop. Ten minutes in, one slapped me on the side of my face. I remember the sting till this day, and my ear was ringing. I sat in silence, stinging face. A few minutes later at my stop, I stood I swung my plastic Batman lunchbox as hard as I could, and I caught the kid right above his eye. Keith was his name, and like a boxer cut from a prize fight, his eyelid began squirting blood all over the bus. And I remember his screams and the look of pure horror on his friend's face. I sprinted and I ran straight off that bus. The cut was deep, the blood thick. He will be scarred for his life to this day. I ran so fast I didn't even notice that my lunchbox had actually shattered. When I got back, I was holding a handle and a piece of shattered plastic, barely resembling the square it once was. And my dad was in the same place as when I left, lotus position, still playing himself at chess. He would play himself for hours and hours, trying to defeat his own mind. He turned around when I came in and saw the broken lunchbox, and he stood up and said, get in the car. The ride was silent. He didn't ask me what happened. He just took me to the Walmart and asked me to pick a new one. I picked the same one I had before. I'll buy you as many of these as you need, son. We went home and had a normal evening, but I was too scared to sleep. The next day, I sat at the back of the bus, ready to swing to fight both of them head on but the kids didn't come I never saw those kids again Keith never returned to school his friends stopped taking the bus in all my years of school I never had to break another lunchbox my dad never saved me from anything he sent me to fight alone rest in peace dad